This room is called the Achtut Room, and um, the purpose is that in the middle of Color War, or middle of Maccabee, um, because our minds and hearts are really with Israel right now, we wanted to have a separate space dedicated to doing things for people in Israel. Um, and that's really a whole range of activities. So in this corner over here, um, we have people tying tzitzit for soldiers. Um, really, a lot of the soldiers in Israel have taken it upon themselves to wear tzitzit um, while they're in Gaza, while they're in uh, various areas in the, in the country, um, as sort of like a spiritual p protection or another way of just associating with the country and with the people of the country. It's really beautiful. You have people, like, again, here in SAR that are dedicating themselves to Tai Tzitzit. In the country, like my mother every day goes and ties tzitzit. It's really, really beautiful. Uh, she lives in Jerusalem. Um, so it's really, it's another way to connect both practically and spiritually with the people in Israel. Um, and then we also have other activities that people can partake in. So there's a letter writing campaign both for soldiers and for bereaved families um, to just let the soldiers and the families know that our hearts are with them. Um, so we have students coming in all throughout the day, writing letters, thanking soldiers for their service, giving them some chizuk, some encouragement, reminding them that we're with them. Um, and then for the families that lost, uh, that lost family members, um, we're, we're writing letters just to let them know that we're thinking of their, of their loved ones as well. And then we have kids who are putting together bracelets for other kids in Israel, right, to let everyone in the country know that Again, in hearts and minds, we're with them and that we're thinking of them and that we're really trying to do as much as we can for them. And what's really beautiful about this room is that even though the activities throughout Color War or throughout Maccabee are designated for like 40 minutes at a time, people are coming in here and on their free time, right? So even though they don't have a designated slot, they finish one activity, they come here, they're tying TT, they're writing a letter, they're putting together a bracelet, they're sending an email. Um, it's really, really wonderful. and. At a certain point, it was really hard to keep track of the numbers of kids from different teams that are coming in um, because there's just been an overwhelming sense of love and just this, this feeling of wanting to do things um, regardless of points, which is really nice. Speaking to people in Israel, uh, first of all, they're really touched that kids who could be playing Mario Kart or could be playing various other sports or partaking in other activities are taking of their time during Color War to do this. And number two, it's really connecting them there because a lot of these similar campaigns going on in Israel as well. So it connects us that way and it's, it's really beautiful to see that, again, our hearts and minds are with people in Israel and their hearts and minds are with us and we're sort of moving towards the same goal. So that was really, really emotional. Um, he came literally 18 hours from being in Gaza, came straight on a plane. He had uh, work to do for the army in the United States, but he took his time to come and speak to our students, to really talk to them about what it's like fighting, um, what it's like fighting for your family, for your country, for your people. Um, it was very, very touching um, because a lot of the emotions that he was expressing were extremely raw. Right? When you're in the field, when you're in the Shatach, it's very, very hard to process things. Um, and then being removed, even only 18 hours, a lot of the feelings that you have are still very, very raw, and that's something that we really felt. But what was really touching about what he had to share with us was uh, he kept on talking about really being influenced by what kids are doing, right? He's there for his family, right? He's in Gaza for his family, for his two wonderful and beautiful children and for his wife. And he's not there fighting, he's there protecting. He kept on going back to kids and that was really, really beautiful because for him, knowing that he's fighting for his kids um, and that kids all around the world are with him um, was something that just made us feel like what we're doing actually matters. It makes us feel much closer to everyone, right? Not just to our Israeli faculty, um, that we feel very, very strongly towards, but also being part of like a wider community, right? Being connected through them to other people in Israel.